Hello, welcome to part 16 of 500 Physiotherapy MCQ series. In description, we have given the simple explanation of each and every question and detailed explanation inside our Telegram channel. Now let's move to question number 301. This is called as the imaginary line which is perpendicular to the plane where the movement takes place. Option A axis, option B force, option C speed, option D plane. And the answer is option A axis. Now let's move to question number 302. In which type of suspension joint axis is taken as the point of suspension? Option A axial suspension, option B vertical suspension, option C pendular suspension, option D none of the above. And the answer is Option A Axial Suspension Now let's move to question number 303 Patient felt a sudden pop and pain in the posterior one third of the calf There is no strength loss Which tendon complete rupture might have occurred? Option A Achilles Option B Popliteus Option C Tibialis Posterior Option D Plantaris And answer is Option A Achilles now let's move to question number 304. All of the following bonds are included in the wrist joint formation except Option A scaphoid, Option B ulna, Option C radius, Option D tricuterel and the answer is Option B ulna. Now let's move to question number 305. Ligamentum flavum consists of Option A type 2 collagen, Option B type 3 collagen Option C, reticulin. Option D, elastin. And the answer is... Option D, elastin. Now let's move to question number 306. What is the most common pathological mass to occur in the wrist joint? Option A, metallic deformity. Option B, ganglion cyst. Option C, heterotrophic ossification. Option D, giant cell tumor of the tendon sheet. And the answer is... Option B, ganglion cyst. Now let's move to question number 307. What is the final phase of sports rehabilitation? Option A, sports or task specific activity. Option B, immobilization. Option C, restoring range of motion. Option D, strengthening. And the answer is Option A, sports or task specific activities. Now let's move to question number 308. The deformity in Epps palsy. Option A. Policeman tip hand. Option B. Claw hand. Option C. Horner syndrome. Option D. Wrist stroke. And the answer is. Option A. Policeman tip hand. Now let's move to question number 309. Which type of suspension therapy is used to strengthen the muscle? Option A. Axial suspension, option B vertical suspension, option C pendular suspension, option D none of the above. And the answer is option C pendular suspension. Now let's move to question number 310. The deformity in complex palsy is option A policeman tip hand, option B claw hand, option C Horner syndrome, option D both B and C. And the answer is Option D, both P and C. Now let's move to question number 311. The muscle paralyst in Epps palsy except Option A, deltoid. Option B, supinator. Option C, brachialis. Option D, intrinsic muscle of hand. And the answer is Option A, deltoid. Now let's move to question number 321. The horror syndrome due to Option A. Motor disturbance of the brachial plexus. Option B. Sensory disturbance of the brachial plexus. Option C. Sympathetic disturbance of brachial plexus. Option D. None of the above. And the answer is. Option C. Sympathetic disturbance of brachial plexus. Now let's move to question number 313. The cause of Epps palsy. Option A. Improper labor technique. Option B. Trauma on the shoulder. Option C. During anesthesia. Option D. All of the above. And answer is. 
option D all of the above. Now let's go to question number 314. The nerve to be injured in the posterior dislocation of hip is dash. Option A obturator nerve, option B femoral nerve, option C sciatic nerve, option D superior gluteal nerve and the answer is Option C sciatic nerve. Now let's move to question number 315. The muscle is not origins in the pelvic griddle dash. Option A rectus femoris, option B gluteal, option C iliacus, option D psoas. And the answer is Option A rectus femoris. Now let's move to question number 316. Calcium, potassium and sodium are classified as which of the following? Option A. Androgen Option B. Categoramines Option C. Electrolytes Option D. Estrogen And the answer is Option C. Electrolytes Now let's move to question number 317. Which of the following muscles are likely to be the organs of proprioception instead of producer of motion? Option A. Iliocostalis Option B. Spinalis Option C. Rotator Option D. Spinous Capitas And the answer is Option C. Rotator Now let's move to question number 318 A 15-year-old basketball player is having traction apophysis and pain in infrapetalar region What will be the best treatment in acute stage? Option A. Ultrasound to the painful area after the full sports activity. Option B. Short arc exercise with high load after the full sports activity. Option C. Limit the activity and limit the jumping with knee support the brace. Option D. Knee support for sports activity. And the answer is. Option C. Limit the activity and limit the jumping with knee support the brace. Now let's move to question number 319. Which one of these activities should a patient suffering from rheumatoid arthritis avoid? Option A. Use of dynamic splints. Option B. Carrying heavy shopping bags. Option C. Avoid flexing wrists with heavy. Option C. Avoid flexing wrists while carrying shopping bags. Option D. Avoid supinating while carrying shopping bags. And the answer is. Option B carrying heavy shopping bags. Now let's move to question number 320. A patient with myositis ossificans comes to you. Which will be the most preferable mode of treatment? Option A short arc strengthening exercise. Option B concentric muscular contraction. Option C available anti range of motion exercises. Option D eccentric muscular exercises. And the answer is. Option C available active range of motion exercises. So that's all for today. If you have any doubts, please mention in the comment box. I think you have learned something valuable today. See you in the next session. That's part 17. Thank you. Bye bye.